If you asked me two years ago where I'd be right now, I certainly wouldn't have said somewhere in the countryside in a tiny village, married, being a proud dog owner and working as a data and analytics analyst. I can safely say that this is my first time living in a rural setting as I grew up in Budapest in Hungary, which is a city of almost 2 million people with all the buzz, rush and noise that come with it. I moved to the UK when I was 18 to study economics in London, which took the definition of big city living to another level for me. London is an absolutely amazing place where you never run out of things to do and quirky little spots to explore. So many interesting people to interact with, so many cultures to immerse yourself in. The city will always be close to my heart as the years I spent there as a young adult widened my horizons, broadened my thinking and made me a much more well-rounded person. Someone who's open to new ideas, someone who's happy to challenge and be challenged, someone who's willing to compete and work hard. But for some reason, London never truly felt like a home. I saw it as a stage in my life, a step on the ladder, rather than the final destination. After completing my bachelor's, I moved to Scotland to pursue my master's degree in finance and economics at the University of St. Andrews. Learning and development have always been really important to me. And whilst I'm on the topic of learning, let me quickly introduce EDX, an affordable and flexible learning platform that supports every career moment, any investment budget, and can be accessed virtually anywhere at any time. Say if you're into machine learning, this MIT machine learning with Python course covers topics from linear models to deep learning. You'll learn to implement and analyze models such as linear models, kernel machines, neural networks, and graphical models. What I like most about this course is the hands-on Python projects, where you get to create your own machine learning projects from training, validation, parameter tuning, to feature engineering. This course is actually part of the MITx MicroMasters program in statistics and data science, a program that offers various other great courses. So, if you're interested, save 15% with code DATAWITHMOEDX15 and sign up now using the link in the description below. After graduating, I started my first proper job as a RISC graduate in Edinburgh. I stayed here for quite a bit actually, for 18 months working in the credit risk space before I felt the need for a change. This time, a move back to London to experience the hustle and bustle once again. The return to London also came with a new job as I dived into the world of investment banking as a credit portfolio manager, after which I landed a role as an insights analyst as I realized I really enjoyed working with data and getting meaningful, actionable insights out of data. This was back in 2020, which is when COVID hit and also the year I met my now wife. We moved a couple times in London together and got Rocket, our forever puppy, before we made the exciting decision to move to a tiny village in the Lake District. Just as a comparison, the Lake District, which is the biggest national park in England, is one and a half times the size of London, with a population of only 40,000 people, as opposed to London's 9 million residents. Now, I have to say that we're extremely lucky that we both get to work from home, and I know that there are many of you out there for whom this is not a possibility. And I also have to say that even though I live rural, I still have access to a bunch of bars, cafes, restaurants, grocery stores within walking distance. So maybe not that rural after all. Cell phone connection can be a bit tricky sometimes, 
but internet is fairly reliable and the speeds are okay. It may not be a big deal for some of you, but given this was the first time I decided to live in a relatively remote place, I had my doubts before and even a couple months after moving here. Did I make the right choice? Will I be able to achieve the things I wanted to? Will I miss out on opportunities both at work and outside of work? What about hobbies and social interactions? Questions like these weighed in on my mind very often, which I believe is normal as any sane person who cares about their future, their family, their well-being, would have some reasonable doubts when making such a big decision. Life has changed drastically, not just for me, but for my wife and our little dog as well. And two years after the move, I can safely say that we made the right decision and all of the changes in our lives are very positive. I'm not saying that one place is better than the other, the quiet countryside is better than the buzzing city, the Lake District is better than London, but living in such a peaceful environment certainly suits our needs better. We love having the greenery right on our doorstep, not having to deal with all the crowds on a daily basis, taking Rocket on a walk where he can sniff some plants and flowers rather than the smoke and the dirt off the pavements on a busy London street. Other than the beautiful surroundings, the people are my next favorite thing about this place. Everyone is much more welcoming and nicer. My neighbor is the kind of person who pulls the bin into my driveway after the rubbish has been collected, without me asking, of course. Whereas I'm pretty sure if I left a bin unsupervised in London for a couple hours, someone would have already stolen it by then. And did I mention that I actually got my current role as a data and analytics analyst after moving to this tiny village. I really enjoy my job as I get to do the critical and analytical thinking to solve complex data problems on a daily basis. I got an AWS certification, completed a data engineering nano degree, and became a Neo4j certified professional. My organization truly promotes a great work-life balance, leaving me with enough time to do everything I want to. I was able to set up my home gym with a full-sized power rack and all the other foundations you need. I have the space to hang my heavy bag or do a great session with the battle ropes. I can walk down to the lake and paddleboard whenever I want to. I can go on amazing hikes and run in one of the most beautiful settings week in, week out. I'm sure you got the hint by now. I really enjoy being active. Moving to the countryside, trying something new, and getting out of my comfort zone has been one of the best decisions I've made in my life. Certainly not the best, as I know for a fact that marrying my wife tops the list. This place has given me so much. I saw Rocket go from a tiny puppy to a full-fledged, fully-grown Yorkie Poo. We had our amazing wedding just a couple miles away from where we live. And I also had the opportunity to become a British citizen during a private, very personal and friendly ceremony at the local town hall. I was able to grow in both my personal and professional life. For the first time since leaving my family home, I feel settled, I feel at home. Now, there are of course a couple things that are much less convenient compared to living in a big city. Public transport is not that frequent and can be unreliable, so we did have to get a car. Without it, it'd be very difficult to get around. You also have to really make sure you dress for the weather. It rains a lot here, even for British standards, and there are a lot of unpaved roads, so getting the right waterproof gear and boots or wellies are crucial. They say that there's no such thing as bad weather, only bad clothing, and having lived here for two years now, I couldn't agree more. There are also no street lights whatsoever where we live, so during the winter months of the year when it gets dark by the afternoon, 
we must take our head torches with us for our walks, otherwise we'd be walking pretty much blind. When it comes to work, the positions you can apply to are limited, as they either need to be fully remote or require you to be in the office every now and then only. Could I have made more money staying in London? Probably yes. Could I have had better career progression in London? I'm not so sure. I'm pleased with my professional development. Could I have had a better quality of life in London? Probably not. I'm really happy with where I am and how we live. I don't feel the need to escape from everyday life as I enjoy my daily routine very much. Moving to a tiny village where you're surrounded by nature certainly paid off for me as it suits my lifestyle very well. It was a big decision that my wife and I made together back then after numerous detailed discussions. We knew that in the end, only time would tell whether or not we made the right choice. If you're ever considering a move like this or have other big decisions to make, make sure you do your research and think about what you want and how you want to live your life. Don't compare yourself with others. Do whatever makes you fulfilled and happy. You probably won't go wrong. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to check out some of my other videos right here. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.